And now we'll see. I'm live. All right. Good. Hello to my friends around the world. I now have friends all over. Someone from Cuba came onto my site a little bit earlier. So I welcome all of you around the world, wherever you are, whatever state you're in or what country you're in, please let me know and say hi. Come on in. Come on in. <clears throat> all right. Well, this is what I do. Oh, there's somebody, Wolf Machine. There you go. Thank you for coming on. And I don't have to read my SB to Claire. <laughs> Hi, cats. Hello. Where You guys have to tell me where you're from. Hello, hello, hello. Anyway, thank you. This has been a wild night. All right, I'll tell you what happened. Hi. Yeah, what a night. Really, truly. SP Tattoo Warrior. Howdy, howdy, duty, fresh. Fresh and fruity from Spokane, Washington. <laughs> All right, there you go. I used to have a friend in Spokane, Washington. It's a pretty place. It really is. It has a beautiful river going all through the city. It's, it's really, I don't know if you'd call it a city or a town, but it's a really pretty place. Unfortunately, Amazon moved up there. I had three friends that were going to move up to Spokane. <clears throat> and it all they all changed. I said, what happened? And they said, Amazon moved up there and bought a lot of the houses. So the, everything went way up. Pittsburgh. All right. Thank you. Louisiana, Canada. Okay, good. Thank you. I love finding out where you guys are from. Wonderful. Scooter Mom, Scientology Audit. All right. From Toronto. Hey, from Austin. All right. From the Ash... Ash Vilke, North Carolina, mountains. Okay. Whittier, California. Hey, you're close. You could have come tonight. <laughs> well, not really, but you're pretty close. <clears throat> Germany, Texas. All right. Clearwater. Hello, hello, hello. Manchester. Oh, wonderful. I got to get a drink of water. Okay, good. Okay, so for any of you, did any of you miss tonight what happened? I did. And I thought, well, I'll pop on and just see. Oh, Portland, Oregon. All right, cool. K. Carey. All right. What is this? Hi, Tori, Oregon here. All right, cool. Excellent. Nice group of people. Hi, Magoo. Hello, Torrance, California. Hey, you're near Supernatural Share. And her two cats. All right. I like that. The two cats are there. That's cool. I love cats. Hello, Magoo from Jacksonville, Florida. All right. We're good. And hello, Miss Tori. Beautiful as always. Thank you. In Paris, California. Okay. Portland. <clears throat> Nashville, North Na Nashville, North Carolina. That's supposed to be really pretty there, too. All these places are beautiful. St. George, Utah. Ooh. Boy, they have pretty stuff there. All these areas, they're, they're, they're so wonderful. I mean, it's really amazing. <clears throat> Riverside County, California. Okay. My friend Ben Corden lives out there. All right. So, and he wrote the book, um, <clears throat> L. Ron Hubbard, Messiah or Madman. He was one of the three books years ago when I was in that you could not read. You know, definitely. And now we're really good friends. Hmm. Okay, so Scientology tonight. Here's what happened. I guess, oh my goodness, tonight has been crazy. How much how much of a flap has the guy caused? Okay, so I'm just going to tell everyone because everyone might not have kept up with it. Chicagoland, that's where I'm from. But anyway, um, basically what happened... If I cross the street, I'm in Redondo Beach. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, so you watched the whole stream with Jess as well. Okay, I didn't. So I was late for me, and I just thought, well, I'll just check on Jess, see how she's doing. And here's this huge flap, right, going. And she's over at the Burbank Ideal Org, right, which is like 15 minutes from me. So I'm like, all right, I'm on my way. So I, I, I get in my car and drive over there. And what had happened was she was putting up a sign. This is so typical of Scientologists. She's putting up a sign. And, and she looks really 
in their world of stat, you know, like she'd be, a, she could be a Scientologist. So the guy goes over and starts helping her put up her sign, right? Saying Scientology is a cult. He hadn't read the sign. Then he read, reads the sign and he pushes her into her car. That's my understanding of it. I didn't see it, but I know that he pushed her to a degree that she called the police. And by the time I got there, there were three fire trucks, huge fire trucks, and uh, the police and everything else. And what had happened was a guy pushed her and then ran inside, which the same thing happened to me years ago, where a guy came, we were protesting out in front of the testing center. A guy came around, slammed me in the chest, and then ran inside the testing center. And of course, because they're a church, they, you know, it's like the police can't do anything. And no one got it on film. Back then, they had like one camera or something like that. It's really different. I talked to a friend of mine who used to film back then. And it's it's just so different when you see this many cameras. You see how Scientology, like they're shut down all over the town. You know, every window is closed down. They don't, they don't want people to see what they're doing. See, whereas in the old days, they had one camera maybe two, you know, but it was, it wasn't like these people and live streaming where they have hundreds, if not thousands of people that are watching their stream, right? So they, they really get caught in the act. So anyway, this guy ran inside and now they have the building surrounded. I did a video while I drove out there and, and showed the video of, you know, kind of driving around it and it, and they have people, you know, in front of it, on the side of it, in the back of it and in the alley. So my guess is they may have um, the Michael Malley show. Good evening. I, I missed the map. Oh, okay. Hi, Michael Malley show. Good evening. Hi. Hey, I filmed the Portland org three years ago when I lived in Salem, Oregon. Good. Okay. All right. Good. Well, welcome. Thank you for coming on. So, and I'm telling a story about what happened tonight, which is, this is this is called Midnight with Magoo. My nickname is Magoo. And I, because so many people stream all day long, I and I'm kind of a night owl. So I thought, I'll just tell stories at night, you know, because that's different than, you know, everyone else has already reported stuff all day long from early in the morning um, all the way till in the evening. <clears throat> so anyway, I went out there tonight to see it and, and I filmed it. And I, there was a little video on, on, on my site of how the, how it looks, you know, so you can see the ideal org and then all the people, different people that were there, but they have it covered. They really do. And uh, I don't really know. I, it's tricky because they could have slipped him into a car and out, you know, where he was just laying on the floor and they drove out, you know, and I just don't know, you know, they're, they're very sneaky the way they do stuff, but Scientology, you know, you're out of your league, you're way out of your league, Osa. And you've really got to think about this because these people, they're here. Do you know what I mean? They're not going away and you, you it, we're getting bigger every day. I mean, there was originally Jessica and streets. That's who I knew. There were two people and then it was Jessica streets, um, confident Chris and Chris without a Hellcat. And then it just grew from there. And now it is already, I mean, DOA came and Lara FM. And now there's, I think there were 50 last week. And now there's over a hundred live streamers having to do a Scientology. <laughs> so it's like, you guys are toasted. You know, you just are, you just have to get clean. That's all you can do. That's what you're supposed to do per your own technology. And you should apply it. Because it's your days of the fair game and hurting us and stuff like that. It's just, it's not going to work. It, it really isn't. And it hasn't. I mean, you can see you've gone from being very popular and busy. When I got in, in 1969, there were hundreds of people, thousands of people around the world. I mean, it was really popular. And now it's empty buildings. That's basically what it is. You're, David Miscavige is buying and selling buildings. That's it. You're not really delivering services. You're not really helping people. You have a bunch of phony front groups, but we're here to show those too. So, 
you know, you can run, as I told David Miscavige for 24 years, you can run, but you cannot hide. And that's a fact. So you can keep running, but one of these days you're going to run out of, of oxygen from running. And we're going to be there. I remember when Anonymous first showed up in 2008, <clears throat> and I think it was in Australia, the Australian org. They were trying to get all these boxes out of the Australian org like really fast. And this guy was on the roof filming the whole thing. He had the whole thing filmed and on the internet that night. You know, it was just like unbelievable. And it was the same kind of thing. It was like, oh my God, you are so outnumbered. You know, that's that's just it. And that's how it is here. They're outnumbered. So anyway, that's what happened tonight. And now I'm going to read you got read your things and uh, and see how everybody is. All right. So I already said you guys told me where you are. That's good. Um, was there an officiate tennis at Utah Tech? Mm, are you asking me that? Okay. This sounds like something else. Scientology is a scam. Yep, that's true. Hey, Michael Malloy show. All right, there we go. And he took her sign. Oh, did he take her sign? God. And you know what? The cops are at his house. So he can, you know, it's again, you can run, but you can't hide. I mean, he, he, he might, they might be able to slip him out of the org, but the police are there. So he's, they know his name. I think Aaron in Clearwater saw a photograph of him and, and was able to name who he is. So they know who he is and they're, you know, it's like, it's not a good thing to do that kind of thing. If you ever hurt someone, you should stay there and take responsibility for it. I don't care who you are because it, it's like when you run like that, it, it escalates dramatically because you, you look like a criminal, you know, just immediately and people don't like it. It's just not right. It's not a good thing to do. So Scientology, you should think about that. Okay. Okay, good. So Michael Malloy knows some people that SPTV uh, Tattoo Warrior has mentioned. They have friends at their college. Okay. Just a Northern girl. Hi from Ottawa, Canada at 2.46 a.m. Ooh, up with the cold. Ooh, I also watched the whole Just Encounter. Good. Okay, so you guys probably know more than me because I've just watched a little bit of it. Good morning from Toronto. That's wonderful. Hi, Malta McMurchy. That's cool. All right. And SPTV Tattoo Warrior said sweet. Okay. Um, okay. There's the thing that she said. All right. Yeah. Is it on your channel? I'll check. Okay. So. Are you asking, try to put an at sign if you're saying something to the, to the, this, um, Malta McMurchy about the, oh, I think Malta McMurchy, you did, you did put, I think, I can't tell if that's, you put a sign on that or you, anyway, I think you want to talk to them. So try to put it one of those little signs. Yeah. Is it on your channel? I'll check it out. Okay. Does the Northern, does the North Hollywood location have housing on its site for them? No, no, they don't. It's not that I know of. That's a good question, but I don't think so. I've never seen that. I don't think so, but that is a very good question. I don't think so. I don't think it's big enough. It looks like an old Kmart. That's what it looks like. That's that, that, the building. That's what it kind of looks like. But I, I don't think they have enough room for people to live there. But that's a good question. Where do they live? We'll have to go check that out. We followed once the executives from the HGB, like where do they live? And we followed the bus and everything and found where their apartment was, which is right down the street from the complex. I mean, it was way, you know, the HGB is over in Hollywood, but they were pissed. These guys jumped out, get out of here, Tori. And I said, it's public street. I have a right to be here as much as you do. 
I think they went home. She will have to file a complaint in the morning with all the information again. Really? Ah, pain in the ass. Hello, Malta McBurchie. Okay. Okay, good, good. Midnight with Magoo is my favorite stream. Thank you, Deja805. And DOA, all right. Thanks for coming out Sunday night. My pleasure. It was, I had so much fun. We had a barbecue that night. And there's a little video, not much of mine. You could go on his and probably see a longer one. But um, we had fun. He, You're such a good cook and a great host. He's really sweet. So anyway, I, I'm glad to see you came by. Thank you. Okay. Kelly BC. Hi, Tori. SPTV Tattoo Warrior. Hey, DOA. I know. It's good to see him, huh? Did you see the thing with Jessica, DOA? Oh, my God. They had to, to have snuck him out in one of those cars. That's what I think. What's up, DOA? <laughs> Everyone's saying hello to you. Hi again, Tori. I think they rushed him out with that big group when they got the cops to protect them. Yeah, that sounds like it. Hey, DOA, did you get my email? All right. Hello, lovelies. <laughs> and they had his ID before the cops did. Wow. They meaning they had his ID before the cops did. You mean the, the fire department had it? That's what I think you mean. <clears throat> Close to 100 streamers worldwide now. <laughs> I know. It's like, forget it. They are toasted. It, you know, it's like they just can't. They used to be able to get away with this stuff. And, and it was kind of like, <clears throat> I don't know. They used to be able to get away with it. But I, I'm really happy to say not anymore. It was a, nope. And it's not going to go away. See, that's the thing. We're all people that are interested in exposing human rights violations. And you have a lot of them. And that's what happens. You don't have to do them, but you do. And as long as you do, like I told you in 2000, you're going to see me here. And there you go. Eat, despite your 25-step program to muzzle Tori, epic fail, to quote Anonymous. All right, Scientology gave Tori her $1 million back to her. Oh, give Tori her. Yeah. <clears throat> it's actually escalating because I look, thought about punitive damages because I have this for the rest of my life, this damage. And I thought it really should be more like $10 million, you know, with punitive damages. So we'll see. They're not going to pay me anything anyway. So, but I kind of like ten million better. That, that seems fair when you think of my entire life. I've had to live without short-term memory, and that's a hard thing to live with. I mean, people as they get older, they go, "Oh, I can't remember this," and I go, "Welcome to my world." You know, it's interesting. But thank you for mentioning that the Michael Malloy show. All right. So, is this? Am I speaking? Are you Michael? Are you the person that's? Is your name Michael? Is that who we should call you? Let me know. What page has the list of all the streamers? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't. But um, I'm sure you can poke around and you'll find it. You know, it's, it's expanding all the time. They had just a, a short list that they gave me about a week ago. But look at how long it is. It, it was just a short list of like four or five people. And this is the thing they gave me at the, at the barbecue, right? There's that. And here's all the streamers. Look at that. Hey, I'll try to hold it so you can see it. Anyway, it's a lot of them. I'm the last one on the list. Well, whatever. I'm the oldest, so I should be the last. There you go. I don't think they thought I'd come. But you know what? I'm coming. I'm making it. It's working out. And I really love all of them. They're really cool people. They are. Okay. I think it's likely. Oh, I forgot to do this. Sorry. Um, I think it's likely. Oh, yeah. You. We already said that. Yeah. I think you're right. 
Now remember to say question if you have a question from the Bay Area to LA. All right. Yeah, this is a good point. You can also say comment. Um, a funny part is by defending the fellow, everyone in the building knew what had happened. Well, first of all, let's get one thing straight. Everyone consists of probably three or four people. So it's it's not like it used to be. Yeah, you know, there's not that many people in there, but you're right, those people know. Um okay, now this is this is this is interesting. Some girls came out of the building who knew just from TikTok and confirmed they saw the guy in there. Wow. And they weren't Scientologists, they were there because of a modeling thing. Wow, boy, that's a mistake, Scientology. That's what I'm saying. You can run, but you cannot hide. <clears throat> There's somebody that knows her from TikTok. You know, they, Scientology, suddenly, Jessica was picketing the testing center, just making jokes of it, really, for TikTok. They're really fast jokes. And Streets also had walked by a Scientology building, and they said, you can't be here. And he went, pardon me? And so those two started doing different things with Scientology. And what do you know? Their whole accounts were vanished. You know, Jessica had, I don't know if it's 10 million or 20 million followers, and they owe her a lot of money. And Streets had a lot too. So, you know, once again, Osa, you made it your activist. They weren't really, I mean, Streets was busy with the police. And Jessica was busy with, you know, just kind of doing the comedic things for TikTok. And now, guess what? She's flat out an activist because of you, because of what you've done. And I want you guys, I'm going to say it over and over because I don't think, I, th I don't think it sinks in. I remember being in and, oh, you know, that's not true. Yes, it is. It's 100% true. All right, that's interesting though. Thank you. Escaping Falcon, Falcon's maze. Wow, that's a neck. Mini Angel, way to go, <clears throat> my country, Australia, for their work against the cult. That, that your country is really great. I love Australia. They, they have helped so much in exposing Scientology. It's been really cool. Um, oh, okay. Here's the name. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this is the person. Well, I think she said, I, I believe Fluffer Squirrel UK, I think she has a list of all <clears throat> the SPs in all the different cities, but I don't know if she has, you can go look because that's, that's the name. Um, so thank you, Nadia. I'm going to write it down because I know it'll come up again. Fluffer can someone send that to me on email and I can show you my email because DOA put it on here. There you go. See, you could email me her name, just her name so that I remember it. You know, if somebody needs it, just put, you know, list of SPs in the subject line. Okay. Can someone do that? Thank you. And, and we don't need 10 people to do it. Just one or two people. And it probably would help if you say, okay, I'll do it. Cause then, then we won't have 10 people. Um, but, that, but anyway, thank you for that list because that, because she does that fluffer uh, in the UK said that she does have a list of like all the different cities around the world where there's different people that could protest together. I thought that's what she was saying she had. Maybe she has this other one too. That's, that'd be really cool. All right. Hi from... <clears throat> All right. Hi from Georgia. Jess single-handedly made a typically boring Monday into a crazy town. From making a lady smile, holding a scam sign, getting assaulted, young girls modeling scam, and the aftermath. It's true. It's really true. I mean, it, <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and I'm the same. You know, I was just here in Burbank. I told her, I said, if you have stuff like this, I'm 15 minutes away. Call me. But I think they probably figure I'm too old, you know. But they know I have Midnight with Magoo, so I'm up. 
You know, it's like, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, so now let's see if there's anything else. Perth audit. You're saying hi to somebody else. Okay. Cajun Juju chat used facial recognition. All right. That's good to know. The chat used facial recognition to ID him. That's right. Yeah, the chat actually confirmed who it was or you know recognized who he was. And then and then Aaron confirmed it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. This is another person saying that the same thing, that it's facial recognition. Turning in from Wisconsin. All right. Good night to you. Thank you for coming by. Um, the cult keeps making one mistake after another. Is that the truth or what? Well, the world is watching. That's the thing. See, that's the difference. Before, it, it would happen, but it wasn't as worldwide at all i mean it was like when anonymous did their thing it was worldwide but in between that when we were protesting and stuff it was just we who knew each other knew what was going on like when they pushed me down the stairs in ireland i mean they shoved me these were like stairs that were like this like <clears throat> excuse me normal stairs are like this right these stairs were like really steep and I had walked up part way going, what the hell are you guys doing? Because it was just so weird. And this guy came around the corner and just shoved me. And I was just flying in the air. And honestly, if John McGee had not caught me, I would have been either dead or crippled for life. It would have been awful. I mean, it was awful that they would do something like that. I mean, it's just frightening to think they're, they they want to be a church. They want to be known as a religion, but they can push people down the stairs like that where they know I could easily be killed. Really spooky. Anyway, um, okay, now wait. I think this is a different thing. She had to report it because if she didn't, they would do her like they did Danny and the scooter guy. Danny was hit by a scooter Scientologist and did not report it. But the scooter guy did. Oh, really? And how did that turn out? I, I missed that one. I don't know that one. So how did that turn out? Um, hey, here's someone from England that's just waking up. Good morning. Yep, Magoo International. That's right. It is. I'm very excited about that. I really love it. Perth Scientology Audit. Okay. Hello from the Netherlands. All right. I love this. John Hildebrand was at least till last year at San Diego University. Really? Because he, we've tried to find him there. We can't. I know he was teaching, but all right, I'll check it out. I'll check it out again. Um, how much trouble is this guy in? Who knows? You know, it's, that's an ironic, it's a good question. And it should be for them a standard tech where it's absolutely one thing, right? But depending on how much they need him, depending on how much money he has, depending on the connections in his family, you know, it could be nothing. It could be next to nothing. It could be he's on the RPF for many, many years. I don't know. You know, I really don't. Thank you for your kind comment. Cali is a liberal commie state. Nothing will be done. <laughs> it's not true. They've actually done quite a bit of stuff. The cops said they used facial ID to remember when they said it wouldn't be used to impeach our privacy. And, and, oh yeah, they they said that they had it, they muted it too. Yeah. Thank you, Verity. That's nice. You're such a cool lady, Tori, and so inspiring. Rainy, windy evening here in Sydney. Ooh, but you're in Sydney. I know it might be rainy and cold, but it's you're in Sydney. That's pretty cool. Um, there was what looked like an apartment building behind, right? Mm-hmm. There is. 
and there used to be a, that's what i was trying to tell the, the kids there tonight was there used to be a um like an alley behind the ideal org and now it's all fenced in and i guess they own the, the building behind it i didn't know that and uh so who knows who knows it's it, it's weird but yeah okay Hi from Tampa, Florida. Oh, my sympathies. Please remind Jessica that the guy took a pic, picture of her tag so he can find her info and address. Tell her to be careful. Now, wait. What tag? What tag did he take a picture of? Because is that, you mean like a police tag? Like they made some kind of a tag with the police? Because she doesn't wear a tag. So what kind of a tag do they take a picture of? But I will tell her to be careful. And I'll pass that on. Hey, hey, Tori. Hi, Cassie. The police filed a report on site. Just sent the police recordings and her info. All right. That's what it sounds like. That, that's more like how Jesse is. So I, I'm pretty confident she'll be good on this one. Hello from New Jersey. I can finally catch the Midnight with Magoo show. That's right. This was a wild night. If you missed it earlier, you'll have to replay it. But um, it ended up being not good for Scientology once again. And it was really fun for me to see these guys with the, the, the whole block surrounded, you know, with people. Because they were trying to catch the guy. They, he had pushed Jessica into her car. And then she called the police and then three fire departments were there as I drove up. I didn't get it on camera because I, I just didn't. But they were there and they were just turning around and leaving. But the, the, the guy that pushed her had run inside. So they were trying to surround the area and catch him as he came out. But it didn't happen. So we don't, I, I, I still don't know what happened. But someone told me that it doesn't matter because they have police at his house. So when he goes home, there you go. You can run, but you cannot hide, Osa. Your days of winning ended when I left. That's really, that's a fact. Because nobody really knew you were doing this snaky, awful stuff on the internet, including me. I was opening up the phony accounts, but I didn't know what you were doing with them. And once I realized I left Scientology forever, and I really wasn't going to speak out. But thanks to your church who chased me across the country, I went from, I'm not saying anything. I'm just leaving quietly under the radar in LA at LAX. But once the vice president came up to me and said, we know where you're going, you're not going there. And then chased me across the country in Chicago and a mob of people at Tampa in that one trip, I turned into an activist. That was it. It was like, I, these are not my, this is not my group at all. And that was the end of you guys winning. Do you know what I mean? I, I know you think you're winning, but we're here to tell you, no, you're not. And show you. Now we can show you because we got it on camera. Just got here, Tori, baby. All right. Here's somebody who just got here. Girl, roar. Okay. Good to see you. You'll have to listen to the thing because I just told the story again. Hi, Tori from Tennessee. Glad to realize you're a night owl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the Midnight with Magoo. That's that's what it's called. That's right. Hi, Tori from Tennessee. Glad to realize you're a night owl. Thank you. Christina Williams. Okay, I, I have to put it like this because I... If that dude that aggressively battered Jessica gets caught... Will the dude be forced to pay money to do intense courses? In intense courses, you mean with Scientology? Does C of S make members pay via courses or auditing? Well, first of all, let's get a couple of things straight. Scientology will not see this as that guy did something wrong. They will see it as Jessica was 1-1, one, one, which is on their tone scale of covert hostility. And she was out trying to hurt their church by putting up a sign saying Scientology is a cult. 
which they're selling freedom, right? And they promote, they have free speech. So she should be able to stand on the corner saying Scientology is a cult. Okay, so what? If you're not, who cares, right? But if you are, then it's a different story. But the fact that you're going to hide this guy or, you know, do nothing with him and, you know, just th that you probably don't even think of it as it's something bad. You know, it's not it's not even in your head. It's all her fault. It's not his. They don't see it that way. That's the way it is. It's sick. Anyway, there you go. I think I answered that. Did I answer the whole thing? Does the C of S make members pay via courses or auditing? Well, these guys are staff. So they're they they're not really paying courses and auditing. They're supposed to they're promised, especially, I think it's a Sea Org org, and they're promised the whole bridge. They never get it. You hardly can find any Sea Org member you see, ask them, are you by any chance clear? They're not. Even if they say they are, they're not. Most of them are not. They get very little auditing. They get training on whatever job Scientology needs them to slave away at. That's it. So, and they don't pay for it because they're paying in work. Okay. Okay, let me let me just put this here. At two two hours and twenty-four minutes and fifty-six seconds, Jessica's live stream from earlier titled Confronted the Security Guard Trina Help. My maybe was trying to help my stop my stalker. Oh, you'll see the beginning of the encounter. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll have to watch that. But at least she gave the timestamp of it. And she had asked people if any of you want to help. She had asked if anybody could go through and I don't know how to do it. But if you have time, if you can go through and you know, like her mom does it a lot, where she'll put um just the key things it really helps because then you don't have to watch the whole thing you know what i mean you can kind of click on it and see where they got arrested or whatever different things you know this guy pushing her that kind of thing and you can just get the get what the time is and she said it would really help her if somebody could do that so if anybody wants to help out that's a good thing with on her side uh, yeah, Jessica's chat sleuths found all his info and ID'd him. <laughs> Apparently so, Jessica, and uh, also then our uh, Clearwater friend. I forget his name. What's his name? You know what I'm talking about. I forget what his name is. For a minute, just for a minute. Starts with an A. Aaron. Aaron. A. Aaron. Was the cops left when the cops left Tom? Had they been taken out of the building by then? I think sadly they were protecting him. I don't think so, but maybe could be. That that is a possibility, but kind of doubtful because that kind of puts them in, see, they can get in trouble for that. So I kind of don't think so. But anyway, we'll see. Here's Gurroar. What did he say? Hey, everyone, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for mentioning that. Thank you very much. Yeah, please like it and please subscribe. I was amazed at um, DOA watching him at the barbecue. I was watching his site and it was like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like all these people came on, they were just subscribing. And it was like, wow, I got to figure out what to do on that so that I, because I, I could use more subscriptions. That'd be good. And they were donating. So that was nice. It was really good. He he deserves it. He, he did all the cooking. He really did. He was very good. All right. It seems like the cops there were not buying CMS's bill. <laughs> They knew he was hiding and people would be sent out to distract. Could the police be tired of them? Oh, I think they're tired of them. See, I've spent years, I've been out for 24 years 
And I told them when I left, because they were doing all kinds of shit around my house and to my car and all kinds of stuff. And there were only four people speaking out then with their names. And I was one of them. So I started going down to the Burbank Police Department. I talked to a policeman, explained fair game and said, look, I know it sounds crazy. And it's, it's like gaslighting. And he knew what gaslighting was. And I said, okay, so I can't prove these kind of things. Like they broke one leg off my turtle, but who else is going to do that? Do you know what I mean? Just nitpicky shit. So I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a report every time they do any kind of fair game and I'm going to send it into you. So you have a written record of this kind of crap because it's really, really awful stuff. And, you know, I thought they should know about it. So they, they're probably tired of Scientology, but I don't think they're tired of us. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you for answering that, Michael. That's good to know. I am Michael Malloy. Okay. That's good. Cause I didn't know if it was like a show and, and it was somebody else. So good to know. And thank you for coming on. Don't forget to add interest to your 10 million. That's right. Remember, that's how I got my money back before I did that. Because I, before I was asking for my money back and they were really giving me the runaround. And I said, look, either you get me my money this week in a check or I'm going to tag on interest for the last 10 years that you've had. I think it was, I don't know. 10 or $20,000. It wasn't that much, but with interest, it would have been a lot. I got my checks, but that was the one, you know, they're, they're crazy. All right. Here's a question. Will a guy who battered Jessica have to do the RPF? Again, I can't tell you that, you know, it's like, first of all, I doubt if they'll see it as he did something wrong. You know, he, yes, he's going to get arrested, maybe, um, maybe not. It just depends on, like, the guys I was talking to said it could either be a misdemeanor or a felony. If it's a felony, that's a big deal. But I'm telling you, all kinds of shit can go down, and Scientology always sees it as it's their fault. It's not our fault. It's their fault. And, you know, it's ironic because then on the other side, they're always like, well, we believe in being responsible. And if you're totally responsible, everything will go right. But then when this shit happens, it's like, well, who's responsible here? Oh, well, that girl, Jessica, she's the one that caused that. No, she didn't. She was there with the sign that over here you're selling, you promote free speech and free thought. And here she is out there and now you're going, oh, she's not being responsible enough. That's what's wrong. No, it isn't. It's that you guys are not being responsible enough. And it's so fun for me to say that. I They have run that shit on me for years. And it's so fun to finally be able to say it. It really is. All right. Fluffer Squirrel. Okay. Thank you. Happy Peony. Okay. That's good. Fluffer Squirrel. Thank you. I hope one of you sent me an email with it because I, I know you can say the name, but whether I, I can't remember it, that's a thing. Okay. When the fire trucks showed up in Burbank tonight, it was actually in North Hollywood, just so you know, we told them that they should hose the building down anyway. I know I heard you. That's what got me to get in the car. I heard you guys saying that and I was like, whoa, because then I thought maybe it's really a fire. You know, it did kind of, I mean, did you guys ask for the fire trucks or how did the fire trucks end up coming? Do you know? Let me know, Malta, if you do. Okay. Okay, good. So thank you, Aja. So Anja. So Fluffer Squirrel has made it with all the all the different um, live streamers. That's good. That's really good. Okay, great, Yvonne. Thank you so much. She sent me an email. Please read it when you can. I will. Does it have the Fluffer Squirrel thing on it? Because that's really what I need the most. 
The list of the streamers can be found at Fluff for Squirrel UK. I get it. I just need, well, let me see if I can copy that. Um, I don't think so. I don't know how to do it. Somebody else has to just please send me that. Actually, who was it who just said that? Hey, Carrie Ann. So, hey, Carrie Ann, can you just send me that in an email? And here's my email. Thanks to DOI. Where's my email? Is that it? That's it. No, that's not it. It's up higher. That's it. There it is. Tori Christman 44 at gmail.com. And it's T-O-R-Y. That's right. Okay, good. So if you'll send me that, that will be great. Okay, there were probably, what is this? There were probably 50 people or more in the building last night, and they all got an earful. Oh, okay. Were you in the building? I mean, are you just assuming that they got an earful? Because they're tricky on that kind of thing. Not necessarily. Generally, when something like this happens, they have everybody you know, way far away. So they can't look out the windows. They can't see out the windows. Somebody says, what happened? They say, nothing. It's just some suppressed person out, is out there. You know, just sort of like, it's nothing. You know, they, I, I've been, when I was in Scientology, these kind of things happened. I was on course and they wouldn't let us out at six o'clock at night. Why? Because Keith Henson, one man was outside with a sign about Scientology being you know, a scam or a cult or something like that. And because of Keith, and I knew it was Keith because they had asked me to go out and try to handle, get rid of Keith. And so I had gone out there and what do you know about Scientology? Why are you doing this? Who cares? Whatever. He wouldn't leave. So I went back on course. And now it's six o'clock. It's dinner time. We're all supposed to go home and we're public and it's just time to go home and eat. And all of a sudden we get out in the hall. It's like, stand back, everyone, stand back. This is a top secret briefing. No one, no one is leaving the building. No one. Now I knew because I'd been sent out to handle Keith. It was because of one man with one sign and me thinking, oh my God, you know, th those are all things that help you wake up. You're just like, really? But the majority of people had no idea. They have no idea. They just think it's this mandatory briefing of something that they make up. Okay, so now let me just check. Okay, well, Michael, I'm glad you came by here. Um, let's see. There were actually, and I'm glad all of you came by here, by the way. There were actually several Scientologists who came out the side door after they called the police for what appeared to be an escort. Ugh. That's when... Someone drove off in the guy's car. Really? Because because Street said the guy's car was still there. Are you sure that they drove off in his car? Because Street said his car was still there. Now, what is this? Someone from Scientology also came out of the parking garage at the Blue Building and tried to take... Dan walks on tripod today. Oh, that's a whole, this is a whole different thing. Uh, yeah, they, they get kind of freaky on things. They do. You have to really be careful. You have to watch your back because they, they're not in a good place. They're not doing good things. And, you know, they're not able to stop it. You know, it's kind of, it is. It's Aaron heard about you calling the SPTV. What, what happened? Oh, yeah, I know. I called him. <clears throat> it was that was at the barbecue and somebody I, I think DOA gave me the flyer that he was tagging up. And one of them was with the phone number for SBTV. And someone with me said, has anyone called that number? And I, I thought I haven't. And so I said, well, let's call it. So I called it and left a message, you know, because it was really funny. It was just a recording. And so. I said, well, this is Tori and some of your friends call us back. But anyway, then they told me the Aaron had heard it. <laughs> you know, the other phone number, the reason why I do that is when 
after 9-11 happened underneath President Bush was a phone number saying for mental health, call this phone number. And it was this Dianetic hotline. I swear to God, I called up the TV station because I was online. I said, that's the Dianetic hotline. And I called them, we, a bunch of us called up the TV station and told them they took it off right away, gone. And then I called them and said, and this little girl went, hello, Dianetics, modern science of mental health. And I said, are you serious? You're promoting mental, you know, that you, you're going to help with mental health when you guys are a hundred percent against psychiatry, psychology, therapy, anything. And she said, well, Dianetics, modern science of mental health. It was just like, oh God, pathetic. Danny went to jail. Oh, bummer. And then the guy was never charged. Hmm. That's true. Great. Danny, okay, so Danny was, arrest, was arrested for assault and a hate crime in the scooter incident. How can that possibly be? And, and the Scientologist actually hit him? That's weird. He spent four days in jail. Oh, this is a drag. For theft and hate crime. Wow. They were dropped by the DA. Well, at least they were dropped. I mean, it's a bummer he had to spend the four days in there, but. <clears throat> Ooh. Now, this looks spooky. You're going to send. I, I, Tori, I will send. You documents I found in your email? That sounds spooky. How did you find stuff in my email? Let me know that. <laughs> this is another one where Good SP says, that was fun meeting you at the, at the barbecue too. That was really fun. Yeah, that Aaron heard about you calling the SPTV. <laughs> that was fun. It was. <laughs> Ah, uh, he was arrested on Friday. And that, that's why we, I say, don't pick it on Friday because they, that's what they do. They, they keep him there for three or four days. It, it's, you know, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It, if they can stretch it, if it's a holiday weekend, it's Monday. That's a long time. So I say, don't, par don't protest on Friday. Just don't because it's, it's just too dangerous. I mean, you can party, but don't protest. Jules loves three. Okay. Hi, Jules. Thank you. Danny's charges were assault with enhancement as a hate crime. Yeah, but they dropped it. So he's better. In California, you could walk into a store and steal with no consequences. True. But when you protest a cult, you get swatted. It's true. It's really true. But I will tell you this. When I called him, because I'm trying to remember what I called him about. What did I call him about? I called the police. Oh, yeah. I was here. I was with my son. I came home. And I thought, all right, what's happening with the guys? I looked on DOA. And there was some whole big thing happening and about the help, you know, with the help sign in the window. And I said, did somebody call the police? Because apparently it happened the night before. And I said, did somebody call the police? And I kind of got a not really. So then Jessica's mother, we, we're, we talk and she called me and said, look, why don't you call the police from where you are? So I did. And, and uh, you know, it. I, I said, look, don't send three fire engines. You don't have to. We don't need that. And that just, and she was sort of like listening. It was 911. And I said, think about it. It's your tax dollars and mine and everyone else's that are just being wasted when it's just a phony call. And I think this is what this is. So please just send someone to send a couple of policemen to check it out. And if it's real, you can get back up. And if it isn't real, there you go. You know, cause I, who knows, there may be someone who really does need help, but you still don't need three fire trucks to go up and see someone. They never went in as far as I know, unless anybody knows differently. I don't think they went in, but someone else on my chat that night said they might have been checking and then calling for backup because four other police cars did show up later. But I still don't know 
Oh, they he took a picture of her car tags. That's what you're talking about, the tags. Okay. All right. I don't think they'll do anything. I mean, you know, that kid is already has a police, you know, thing. So they're not going to have him screwing around with Jessica or anybody else because now that guy already screwed around with her. Do you see what I mean? It's kind of like they have to watch what they're doing. Chris means her license plate, right? Yeah, the tag. All right. Okay, the license plate. Okay, thank you everyone for explaining that. Tori McGrew's show is great. Ah, thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. We should do a show together sometime. It was wild at NoHo tonight. It was. It was pretty crazy. I, I luckily arrived there with the fire trucks and I was like, oh, dear God. Again, they've called three fire trucks. I don't know who called, but who? if you all, it, you know, just know if you have to call 911, make sure to let them know you don't need three fire trucks, unless you think you do, if it's a fire. But, you know, if it's just a person and they need help, you don't need three fire trucks for that. You really don't. But if you scare them enough, they'll send them. I mean, as we've seen many, many times. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. This why RB said Jessica's license on her cart with the registration tag was photographed, but Scientology already has that information. That's the way I feel. They have everything about me. So it's like, you know, when I left, I put my phone number on the internet. And Jessica to this day is still freaked out about that. I said, I've had it up there for 24 years, Jess. It's okay. Okay, let's see. You were there, Tori. Remember outside the police station, that was the the dad. Danny didn't report the assault on CFS. That's why Jess reported the assault. Again, they started this trend. Yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. You have to report it. Um, but I, I was never, you can say I was there, but I wasn't there with any of this shit. I wasn't. I wasn't ever in on any of this stuff. So, no, I wasn't there. Remember outside the police station that was the DAT? Danny didn't report. Anyway, you have to make that into better sentences because I, I can't understand what you're trying to say. I'm sorry. But I wasn't there. I think you're trying to say, you know, it's it's, it's that's why she reported it. And I get that. And, and uh of course, they start this trend. They've started every trend. I wouldn't be speaking to you right now except for them. They're the ones that turned me into an activist. I wasn't. I was going to leave under the radar quietly, never say anything. I even called Stacy. I said, I'm not going to pick it. I'm not going to protest. I'm not going to make videos. I'm just leaving quietly under the radar. And she said, don't worry. We're only doing for you what we wish someone had done for us when we left the Sea Org. That was it. Okay, Tom probably got away with, yeah. Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't with that. I do not. The fire department isn't going to hide somebody. I, I really, really don't think so. Uh, moon and stars, that's nice. Good to see you, Tori. Absolutely love you. Thank you. Nice to see you, too. It's good to see all you guys. It really is. Midnight with Mickey, Magoo, I know. I like it, too. You know, it was really funny. I, I was... I had done a few of them where I was doing them in the day, which, you know, it was just sort of like, it's, it felt like the day was crowded with people reporting stuff. And then I thought, you know, I'm kind of a night owl anyway. Maybe there's some other people that are night owls. I, I really didn't know, but I thought I'll start midnight with Magoo just for fun, you know, and see if there's a couple of people that'll show up. And what do you know? It's turned out great. And it's in four different continents now, somebody told me. So that's kind of, not all the time, but sometimes, and it, it, that's kind of cool. There were people all around the building. Yep, her science said Scientology is a scam. Yeah, that's what I thought she said. She told me that, that that's, that's what she was, and he was helping her until he, re, until he read the sign. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We were watching for him, yeah. Oh, this is good. Now, what does it say? 
I would love to list a, a list of anti-Scientology people on YouTube, especially Australia. Google seems to be making it difficult to find. Well, that's the lady that we have. Some, you know, see, I can't remember it, but somebody else here will remember it and send it to you because um, that's the lady that they're talking about. She has lists of the different people that are, let's see, you want a list of anti scientists Yeah, that's what she has, or SPs and different people that are in, in different areas. So she'll have the Australian thing. Yeah, it's a place Jesse's going to protest more now. Yeah, I bet. Oh, God. And you know what's funny is it's dead as a doornail. There's nothing ever happening there. I drive by there because I live around here. There's never anything. So I, I hope she doesn't waste too much time there because it's better to go where there's more people. That's my opinion. You know, there, there's no one ever there. So that's why I don't go out to Hemet. We used to go out to Hemet. It's a two and a half hour drive out there. They play this god awful organ music that hurts your ears and they hide everybody inside. There's no public going by. So what's the point? And that's kind of how Burbank is. There's not really any public and there's not really that many people that are at the org. So anyway, well, I'll talk to her and see if she wants to keep doing it or not. Tom and his wife are public sinos. He's OT4 and his wife's OT7. Okay, maybe I know him. Ooh, I hope not. See if you can find out his last name. Oh, God. I don't. Now, the person that I know wouldn't push her. I know he wouldn't. I'm not getting notifications for lives lately either. I have to look up who is live myself. Now, that's ratty. I wonder what that is all about. I don't know how to fix that. There'll be more protesting at this, this new place. <laughs> okay. Okay. What the hell? Good morning. Hello. Good morning to you. Um, ooh. Okay. Okay. So Susan King, the list of all streamers worldwide is at Fluffer Squirrel UK's community page. Oh, see, now that's a good thing I didn't know. It's a, on the community page. So that's good to know. It's Fluffer Squirrel UK's community page. So hopefully, I think I'm just going to write it down just in case somebody does it because I know I'm going to need Fluffer Squirrel community page. Okay, good. So then hopefully someone emailed me it, but then I'll have it. Um, you can turn on timestamps on the live chat. Really? How do you do that? Someone luckily, thank you. This person said, Tori, you're a legend. Thank you. I've been around for a while, that's for sure. And they certainly have done a lot of shitty things to me, and I've made it through it. <clears throat> okay, so then this person, this is what got me to ask. She said, Nadia, really how? So, yeah, let, let us know how to turn on the timestamp. That would be a good thing to know. Yeah, not a real turtle. It's a ceramic turtle like a pet turtle. No, 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 no. It was a ceramic turtle on my front porch, but they were breaking off one leg a week. So the next week it would be another leg. And it was just sort of like, wait a minute, you know, it, it's just too weird. And so I called my friend who'd never worked with Osa and she said, oh, you're just too paranoid. She was out for years, but she'd never worked with Osa. So she said, oh, you, you know, you're too paranoid. So then I called Jesse Prince, who I knew used to help run the church with Miscavige. And he he said, um, Tori, listen to me carefully. This is, I used to run this program. I know it. It's called psychological warfare. They're trying to drive you insane. So yes, you are paranoid and you should be paranoid. Don't be too paranoid, but be paranoid enough. You know, watch your back. And I never forgot that. It was a good thing. Now, this is, this is someone telling her, 
yeah, it's a ceramic one. Yeah, so they were like ceramic turtles. It's still disgusting that they would do that. All that stuff turned me into a much bigger activist than I was. I'll tell you, every time they do something, it's like, ch -ch -ch -ch. It, you know, the activism grows. Good morning, Robert James. Say hello to Robert James. <laughs> We've all been here for an hour now. Wow. Does Tom ride a motorcycle? Oh, I don't know. I saw one go by Jess when she was with the cops. I have no idea. That's a good question. But they, I think they were all really watching to see. How are you, Tori the spy? Now, I'm not a spy. I'm a CIA, undercover covert intelligence person. I guess that is a spy. <laughs> anyway, can you believe that they came up with that? That's another one. Do you know what I mean? I Unbelievable. I, I had stopped doing anything, really. I mean, not much. I, I was doing some interviews and speaking and stuff like that, but nothing big until I ran into Jessica. And I thought, well, because I don't know how to do all that flashy stuff on the computer. You know, here's Hemet, and you put a picture of it. And here's their statistics. And here's a photograph of the guy that pushed Jessica. And I don't know how to do all that stuff. So I thought, I'm out of the game. You know, I, don't, I, I can't just, you know, it's just not going to work. But then a bunch of people said, we don't care. You know, just, it's fine. You can do the live stream thing. And I thought, well, okay, I'll try it. And then I did the midnight with Magoo and all you guys showed up. I'm so happy. It re I really am. It's really, it's been very fun for me. And it's, I think it's good for you guys. I do. All right, here's a question. And I'm learning just so you know. Um, what are your thoughts on how the members inside Big Blue feel seeing all the barbecue fun you all had? I think I'd want to open the door and run like hell. Good question. Well, first of all, there aren't that many people at the Big Blue anymore. So there really aren't. They just don't have that many staff, public, anything. But I will tell you, when Anonymous was protesting and having fun, they always had food and cake and stuff like that, music, and just like DOA is doing. They, that night, a mother called me, and she was crying like mad. And I said, what's up? What happened? And she said, you all were outside and having such a good time. And I got a phone call. I've been trying to get my daughter out of Scientology for years. And I got a phone call from her, and she said, Mom, I've been watching these kids. They're having so much fun out there. And I just realized I could be with them. I want you to come get me. I'm done with this. It was like, oh, it made me so happy. It was such a great thing. It really was. So, yeah, I mean, if they are there, and that's probably why they have all the windows blocked, though, so that they can't see any fun. But to me, I think if somebody, if I was in a building and they blocked the windows, but that's me, I'm always outside. It's like, no, I'm going to go talk to them. I'll handle it. Don't worry about it. But I, but I was like, no, I have to find out why are these guys picketing? I mean, it's one thing to pick it for a week. It's one thing to pick it for a month, but when they're for year after year, you have to go, now, wait a minute, there's got to be something here that I'm missing. I'm me, Tori, the Scientologist, I'm missing. And that's what got me going on the internet and kind of, I wasn't really looking, but I thought I'll put myself in with the Cowboys, which is what I thought you all were. And uh, those guys then, you know, they're just kind of like, they could do anything, they could say anything. They were like the old Wild West. And I thought, I'm just going to put myself there and maybe somebody will help me. And Andreas, I'm always going to say it, Andreas, he helped me. He did. He passed away this year, but he'll always be in my heart. They hid things for Danny Masterson, right? Exactly. I mean, this is the guy that raped people. And, and he's not the only one, just so you know. I Another one of my friends, Tommy Gorman, he was on course and at a mission. And this lady said, look, I'm getting raped by the supervisor. And Tommy was just infuriated. He's a wrestler. And he went down to ethics you know, figuring, well, they'll handle it. And he went and talked to him and they said, don't ever say that word again. And Tommy's whole family was in, 
and her whole family was in. And Tommy got both families, put them in a motel room, showed them a bunch of videos. They all woke up and left Scientology. And he became a big critic for a long time. So, yeah, they did. They hit him. I mean, they, you know, they're, it's so ironic because they're always pitching how ethical they are. It's like, how could you possibly think you're ethical? I mean, I have a hard time thinking of my friend, Bill Yachty, who ran this shit that he got me to open these phony accounts and stuff. What was he thinking? You know, what was he thinking? That he's going to get all you guys fighting with each other and get everything distracted off of L. Ron Hubbard. How great could Scientology be if you have to have someone on the internet distracting people off of the topic of, I don't like L. Ron Hubbard. Okay. I mean, if you go look at Andreas, he came here to LA. He's from Norway. And he came here and protested with us. And they sent out Joel Phillips, who used to work for me. And he came out and he talked to to Andreas for about an hour. And it was wonderful. I mean, it's a great, you know, Google Andreas Heldeland and Joel Phillips. I mean, it's fantastic. It's probably on my YouTube site somewhere, but it, it's really cool to see because he, Andreas really knew how to <clears throat> communicate and debate and talk and not get all beefed up and stuff. <clears throat> the barbecue, this is Bronzy, said the barbecue Looked like it was much fun. I would be so jealous inside Big Blue. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd have to come out and be part of the barbecue. That's just the way I am. I agree. All right, this is Minnie Angel. There was a help sign. Yep, I know. Someone wants out. Yep. Hope the cult never figured out who put that up. You hope they never figured it out? It doesn't matter. I mean, if it's really a person and it was real, hopefully they got out. That's all I care about, whether Scientology found out or not. I think it's better if they found out. You know, it's like people are leaving. That's what's happening. <clears throat> all right. Barking. Okay. Thank you, Magoo. You are a force, a real fighting force from the beginning until now. I love you. Let you ba You're badass. Love you all over. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I mean, honestly, everybody on the internet for years, I've had people help me. And it, it's really been a huge help. I mean, it, you just have no idea. You have no idea how much it means to just, just make little comments and like the videos and stuff like that. It, it makes a tremendous difference. It's like you might think, ah, who, you know, she doesn't care. You know, no, I do. I really do. I mean, one of my friends who only has a little crew of ex Scientologists, ex Sea Org, right? And she was like, why do you even talk to those people? You don't even know them. And I said, these, this is like my family. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter that I haven't met them. I meet them every night. You know what I mean? I love you guys. I love talking to you. I love, hearing your questions. You mean a lot to me. And you have for years. I mean, there's some people that have been, you know, we've been in touch for years. I've been out for 24 years. And I started talking on the internet in 2000. You know, I'm, I made a video with Mark Bunker. It was really funny. And he might, he's going to start putting up videos and it'll be good because he's got good videos. But Bunker, we were in Greg Barnes's room with, with his house with Greg Barnes and his wife, um, Greg and I forget her name. Anyway, his wife, Greg, anyway, I can't remember it now, but anyway, Greg Barnes and his wife and um, Peter Alexander and me, and we were all sharing these stories and they were all different. And see, Scientology makes it sound like it's all standard tech. Everybody gets the same thing. But now we're all out and we're going, well, this happened to me there. And, and I'm going, well, I, I didn't have that. And, you know, it's really an interest. It's called OT speaking freely. And I said to Bunker, turn on the camera, Bunker. We got to film this, you know, because it was like nothing like this was out here where people could see how fucked up Scientology really was from people that were in and on the levels and now we're out and we're 
we're sharing it. You know what I mean? So Bucker filmed it, put it on the net, and it's been around for a long time. So from that, I started talking with different people. And then, of course, in 2008, Anonymous showed up and gave me the webcam. And Bunker said, well, we're going to start a YouTube site for you. And I said, for what? And he said, well, we'll make a video saying Magoo has a YouTube site. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully, I think he's going to, I talked to him today. And I think he's going to soon come out with some really, he's got good material. I mean, you talk about material. That guy's got material that's really cool. So I hope when he when he does, everybody supports him. Hi from PA, Tori. Tom Valdez and his wife, Janet, are considered CFS celebrities. Each has quite a bit of training, according to Google. Oh, and that guy's name is Tom Valdez and Janet. Tom and Janet Valdez. Hmm, doesn't ring a bell, but good to know. Good to know that's... That's actually what's going down. So they're trained and probably audited and they're in the show. They're in the tumor show, but that doesn't mean they can't wake up. Happened to me. And I'm OT7 and class five training. Streets already put Tom's bio info on his website on X Twitter. Will is on a new mission to get the guy and able to get another job. Wow. Tom and his wife would be considered celebrities in the music movie industry. Oh, man. Wow. Well, what the hell is he doing over there in Burbank on Burbank Boulevard? I don't, that doesn't add up as far as he and his wife would be considered celebrities in the music movie industry, not because they're musicians because they wouldn't be over there. I mean, if they're really celebrities, they'd be at celebrity centers. So it kind of doesn't add up. It may be something they're saying, but you'd have to give me a little more information, Sharona. All right, Tori Magoo 44, Will and Jessica were present when the fire truck showed up. So was I, I was in my car. I was not present. Streets mentioned that it might have been a destruction so Jess, Jess's perp could go. A distraction. No, I don't think so. I don't think that I know firemen and they're, they're not that way. They're not going to, they're not going to get a call saying, well, I guess, I mean, Scientology could say their life is in danger. Do you know what I mean? They could, I, it's a real stretch, but Scientology could call the fire department and say, Someone's life is in danger. These people are outside and we need to get them out. I don't think they would. They just wouldn't. I really don't think so. I think they would, if anything, they would go there and bring Tom out to talk with all of you, you know, that kind of thing. They're not going to sneak him out. They wouldn't do that because that gets them in trouble. <clears throat> okay, now let, what's this? They couldn't keep the modeling students that left the building from being informed by the streamers if they did not hear it inside, and and some of them did. Yeah, I think you're right. They, they obviously are watching it, so that's probably why they went there. Who knows? A lady drove it out. Okay. This is the address of where we were. That's the actual address of the Burbank... Uh, Church of Scientology, Burbank, or North Hollywood. I think it's the Church of Scientology, North Hollywood. Yeah. So there you go. That's the address. Thank you. Someone else drove off in his car. Wow, that's spooky because streets thought it was still there. The guy's wife took the car. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. That could be. I'm looking back at the video and I think that Chat IDs the wrong car. Oh, okay. All right. Well, the woman drove the car. I think out of the lot, you mean. Okay. Yeah, it was driven off after you left. Oh, my God, chat. I'm so behind. I have no idea what you're talking about. In a nutshell, Jessica went over to the Burbank Ideal Org on Burbank Boulevard tonight. 
and she had up a sign, Scientology is a cult. And she was putting it up and a Scientologist came out to help her, not knowing what the sign said. Then he read the sign, pushed her into her car and she called the police because it's battery and they came and then the fire departments came. And anyway, the, the, the guy that pushed her ran inside. And so that's what we're talking about is the guy, Tom, is the guy that pushed her. And that's what we're discussing. Oh, this is good. The police told Jessica that these people are weird. Yep, you got that one right. That is true. Actually, a lot of Scientologists are really nice people. I should clarify that because I have a lot of friends that I really, I like them for years and I would, I would stand by them. I mean, they're good people. It's just they're in a Truman show that sucks. And it's run by people that are following policy and technology that is very old, written by L. Ron Hubbard, and crazy. And, you know, they got in it at a young age, most of them, and they're still, you know, going along, following the thing. And uh, there's some really creepy people in there, too, but a lot of them are good people. So it's tricky. No, the cops came out and let them come out to get to their cars, like security to let the Scientologists get to their cars. No, the cops, mm, I don't think so. That's not what any, every, I mean, I was there. There were people on every side of the thing waiting to see this guy come out. So I don't think they let them get in their cars and leave because why would these people be surrounding the area waiting for them? And they told me they were. So I don't, I don't know that that's true, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Like security to let the Scientologists get to their cars. I don't think so. Heard some folks talk about Dianetics when I was in Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. <laughs> Were they laughing about it or were they promoting it? Okay, now here's something else. The car was there for a while, but yes, someone drove the guy's car away. Shortly thereafter, another car pulled out of the back laneway, almost hitting Danny. Danny, ooh, really? Ooh, that's what I was worried about. I told those guys, you gotta be careful because that's what I thought. They'd, He'd zip some car up there and, you know, get him in there. And they don't care about hitting these people. Okay, so Tom V is the guy that hit Jessica. And Tom V's car was driven away by someone else when all the parishioners, <laughs> they're not parishioners, they're members, were escorted out by the police. It's on their live stream. Okay, good to know. Okay. Interesting. Well, hi there, Tori. Greetings from the Gulf of Mexico. That is wonderful. Hello. All these places I hope to go to someday. What is this? Hope Jess goes to the police department tomorrow to get an update on the case. She will. She's good at that. She And, and so will Streets. Question. All right. Were you aware that CFS gave all LAPD, the Dianetics book in 1972 as a Christmas gift. My father was given one. Yeah, I think they announced it at an event. I mean, they're always really proud of, we, we're in the police department, we're teaching them the study tech. We got them all Dianetics books. Yeah, it's like, it's like, okay. You know, it, it it might seem like a big deal to you, but to me, it's it's standard. That's what they do. They try to get in all these community organizations where people will go, well, the police department guy I talked to really loves Dianetics, right? And then it, see, it gives it some value. That's why they do Way to Happiness. They, they, they used to pound dentists and people like that to pay thousands of dollars to buy the books. And they would say, look, we'll, we're going to do surveys. We'll find out what's the problem in your town. And then we'll put on the back your name, 
doc, you know, Dr. So-and-so dentist and your phone number and your address. And then it'll look like, you know, you're doing something good for the community. And it'll, let's say they, they have a big upset on drugs. So this will be, we'll get out the way to happiness and that'll help. It do, None of that helps anything at all. It doesn't at all. And they don't care either. I've gone out with um, actual food drive or um, a clothing drive after an earthquake. And I went out and gave out clothes to these people in the parks. And we always had to give them a way to happiness booklet with each one. And the interesting thing, I mean, this was like one of my little waking up things. It was like, I came back and the lady running it said, did we get any press? Did they mention L. Ron Hubbard? That's all they cared about. They didn't ever say, were the people happy? Do they need more blankets? Are they warm enough? Do they need food? You know, they had no thought of these people living, you know, having lost their homes with an earthquake and now they're out in, in, a, in a park. And it sounds like they're helping them, right? But after hearing that, that was it. I wasn't going to do it again. It really ticked me off. I used to receive. Yeah, I know. I hear you. All right. So let's, we got to get down to the bottom of this. I have to call the fire trucks for a distraction, likely while trying to get Tom out. I don't think so. But that might be, but I don't, I just don't think the, the fire department would do that. I don't. But I don't know. So I'm just going to say, I don't know. It doesn't sound like something of any fire. You know, I have family from my husband's family that are in the fire department in Chicago. So I kind of know firemen and their different morals and stuff. And they're pretty strong on stuff. They're usually not going to hide somebody who's hurt someone. Now, Scientology might have called them and lied about it. And that's not impossible. So who knows? Because I don't think Jessica called the fire department. Going to bed. Have a good night. You too. Thank you for coming by. Come by again. Robert James. All right. And midnight with Magoo. Can it be Mark Bunker? Oh, my God. I just I just was telling them you're going to be coming up with some stuff. And I want everyone to support you because you've got some good material that's coming up. So thank you for coming by here. I hope it's the real Mark Bunker. I'll call him tomorrow and find out. So if you're fake, I'll know it. But I think it's the real one. Tomorrow is the first IRS. Oh, it is? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Thank you for reminding me. Do you know what time it is? The the What time the protest starts and everything? Can you email me at where it is and when it is? Security phones in that thank you. That's very sweet. Dan walks. LA. Oh, you were oh yeah. Magoo Security Patrol this was wonderful. So happy to see you tonight. I was happy to see you too. You're good. I, I was, you know, all you guys. I really appreciated all you guys there. It was really great. Good morning here in the Netherlands. All right. Mm, I'd love to be in the Netherlands. One day. One day I'm going to do a worldwide tour. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I'd like to. Um, okay, love Midnight with Magoo. I'm in Australia, so it's 5.40 p.m. here. Isn't that amazing? So here it's 1.10 a.m. And there it's 5.40 p.m. tomorrow, I think. That doesn't seem like it, it's enough you know, I, I thought you were like eight hour, eight or 12 hours difference. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I wish I was in Australia. That's another place I'd love to go. I, okay. All right. Interesting. This is interesting. CFS has already found Jess's info and called her mother, which is Gucci Dessa, to let them know she was protesting and asked if she would stop. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
and the C of S is not too right. That you got right. But I cannot believe if that's true. I, I'll talk to her tomorrow because that's unbelievable. If they if that happened, that's unbelievable. I mean, it, it, that's beyond the pale. You know, it's like the fire department doesn't mind going on SWAT calls. No, I understand that. That's a different thing. The fire department doesn't mind going on a SWAT call. It's practice. Better than sitting at the firehouse doing nothing and still getting paid. They want to go on calls or it's very boring. Could be, but it's an awful lot. That That's an awful lot of money to get one of those trucks to go somewhere and come back and get three of them to go somewhere and get back. I think for these phony SWAT calls, it's maybe they like doing it, but I, I doubt it. I really do. I doubt it that I, I doubt if the, the community is happy with it. If they knew Scientology was just wasting their money, they wouldn't be happy with it. I really doubt it. But anyway, we'll see what happens. We're going to talk to a few people and see what happens. All right. Good. Hello. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I'm glad all of you guys are here. But I got to get going. So uh, Scientology seems to have the upper hand with the SWAT calls. Okay. Scientology is calling them, telling the police fire department that streamers are calling for content when they show up. Seems like cops fire believe them. If Scientology called and said streamers are just calling you for content, they wouldn't come. I mean, it's it's an obvious waste of time. I think they come because they, they're good at lying. That's what I think. Uh, Fluffer Squirrel UK has the list. Thank you. It's Fluffer Squirrel UK. Thank you. It doesn't help me here for you to tell me here. I mean, it's good to tell everybody else, but if someone emails me, that'll help because then I have it. Tori, the prophet for CFS future, but they would not listen. <laughs> yep. There's many of us who have told them things that they should and could do that would help, but Boy, you're right. They won't listen. Are you talking about me? Oh, it's Fluffer Squirrel UK. There she is. Hi. I have made a list on my computer page with all the protesters and activists. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, we're talking about you. And I'm just asking someone because I'm very bad at remembering names. I think I wrote it down now, but it's on your community page, right? So... Anyway, now I think I've got it because it's Fluffer Squirrel's community page, right? Fluffer Squirrel UK. UK. That's right. I got to write it down just in case because people all the time tell me they'll send me things and sometimes they do, but sometimes they get busy and then I don't get it. All right. That's really valuable. That That is, I really want to thank you for doing that, Fluffer Squirrel UK. Thank you. Okay, now apparently they rent out that location to a lot of non-Scientologists. The location in North Hollywood? Really? Interesting. All right, now retired Red, I've asked you this before. Say it in a sentence. Yes, we are. Yes, we are what? I don't know. Tom Valdez and Janet... Cole Valdez. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Those are their names. All right. Good night, Robert. I thought you already left, but I'm happy you came. Come again. Okay, good. Yeah, we got a few people said it's Tom Valdez, his wife, Cole, Janet Cole Valdez. He's around 62 years old. Okay. Oh, here's the thing for the, I think you mean for the time stamp, I think. The three vertical dots, <clears throat> click, on, click on them and drop down menu lets you turn them on. Good to know. Wow, really? I'm going to try it right now. 
Let's see, what, what does it say? What's it called? Because I don't see it here. I, I don't see it. You have to tell me, what, where's the timestamp thing? What's it in? I'd like favorites, history, downloads, apps, games, extensions, browser extensions, print, screenshot, find on a page, more tools. Maybe it's more tools. Pin to the task, pit and start, launch wizard. Hmm, I still don't see it. Timestamp. Yeah, let me know what is it in the settings? Would it be in the settings? Help and feedback. That's all I have. So anyway, if you can, thank you, Sharona, for that's probably for iPhones, and I have an Android and a Windows, so I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ridiculous. They are goofy. Okay. I again I've asked people to say it in a full sentence, Bronzy. I think you're new here, but if you say That's so ridiculous, I've already read 10 different things. So what thing is so ridiculous? You know, it's better to say, you know, cooking chocolate cakes is ridiculous. They're goofy. Okay, then at least we know what you're talking about. So that's, that's what I'm asking people to do. Night Owls of the World Unite. I love your live stream. Thank you so much. That is really nice, Nathaniel. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys a lot. All right. <laughs> and we are Night Owls Unite. That's right. I believe that Tori is using StreamYards. That's right. To moderate the comments. That's correct. Does that help? Are you asking about the timestamp? Yeah, I am. I'm asking about the timestamp, trying to figure out how to do it. To turn on the timestamp, oh, here it is. I'll, I'll sh I can't show you because DOA taught me how. And Laura, to turn on the timestamp in your chat, hit the three dots. Oh, yeah, that. Then just turn on the timestamps. Yeah, mine doesn't come up timestamp. So you have to, I'll have to find somebody who knows Windows and knows what's in it because it doesn't say it. See if it sounds just as narcissistic as my ex. Oh, yeah, they're pretty bad. They, it, Hubbard was very narcissistic. All right, here's this. The cops came and acted as security to allow the Scientologists to get to their cars, and then the parking lot was empty. Hmm. Okay. Well, who knows what they said? CIA is Christmas in action. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny, Inglewood. That's really funny. I'm late here from Minnesota. Yep, I get she replay. Yep, that's correct. Because we're just about ready to wrap it up. So many great greats in the chat. Mr. Bunker, Fluffer Squirrel. I know. I know. It's really, that's right. Bunker came and left. But anyway, it was fun to see him for even a minute. We love Midnight with Magoo. Thank you, Shua. I appreciate that. And look at these. These look like interesting hearts. It's an amazing story. Which one is the amazing story? Yikes. All right. I'm not sure what you guys are all. What's the off? Which is the amazing story? I forget what story I just told you. But anyway, Fluffer UK, I like using your your list of update my auditor subs. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay, good. Yeah, I have different stories on live that you don't hear with from a lot of people. Because also I've been in for 30 years, you know what I mean? And I was everywhere. So I was in a lot of the different things that a lot of people weren't. You know, I was in the Sea Org. I was on staff. I was non-Sea Org, non-Sea Org Celebrity Center, non-Sea Org AO. I helped train John Travolta. I was, I helped at Narconon. I helped at, I, I helped with Criminon. I mean, I, it, it just goes on and on and on. It's like, you name it, name something with Scientology. I was a volunteer. You know, so I did that stuff. You know, I was just, I was always doing stuff because they routed me out of the Sea Org. They should have just left me in the Sea Org and let me have my medicine. And then I would have just helped them and that would have been it. But 
they had to rub me out because I was on medication. And here I am as a very proud squirrel squad. All right. Thank you, Deja and Malta, for your kind words. That's from Fluffer. And Fluffer Squirrel, I really want to thank you. That's really great that you you did that, um, that you made that list. I think that's really great. And it's going to be used a ton, so thank you. Um, we hear about the boy that was escorted back in after talking to the streamers. Okay, that's a whole different thing. And yeah, you know, it's... I think he'll make it. You know, the good thing is once they talk to the streamers, a lot of times, you know, they talk to any, any exes or critics, a lot of times it, it gets things going and then they're going to leave. Currently at work in an emergency room and on a break. Love that catching a live stream. Thanks for all that you're doing. That's nice. Thank you for all you're doing in an emergency room. Fantastic. That's really great. Thank you. Bronzy, so true. I haven't met you, but I really care about what you have to say. I hope we can all bring about permanent change. We are. That's already, that's it. That's in the works. You know, it's like whether, whether we totally shut down Scientology today or tomorrow, you know, it's like, it, it, it's just a, it's in progress. It's been in progress for a long time. There's a lot of people that have helped on this, that have been in it. Then they've been out of it. Now they're coming back in it. You know, it's like, and more people are coming in it that were never in it. You know, so it's just, it's like, I always say it's a team effort and every voice counts, every voice. It's like, you know, there isn't any, you know, this, but my voice doesn't matter. No, every voice matters. It really does. I mean, and I mean that from the top and the bottom of my heart. Okay, so Mark Bunker, all the best for the great work you're you do speaking the truth. Good. That's nice. That's a nice, that's, I don't know if he's still looking, but there you go. There's a thumbs up from all of us. Absolutely. We're, we're Mark Bunker fans. Yep. See Michael Malloy. Mark Bunker is awesome. There you go. I don't know if he's seeing these. He might've already gone to bed because it's kind of late there, but That's what Jessica was pushed. So innovative. Tom is a music composer. Ooh, really bad. I can't believe a composer would be out at the Burbank, you know, ideal org. Why isn't he at Celebrity Center? Okay, now here's some more info. Tom Info per Google wrote the theme song for the NAACP Image award-winning television series Live Life and Win, the movie trailer for Conviction starring Oscar winner Hillary Swank and Juliet Lewis. Of course, I, I don't know if Hillary is, but I know Juliet is a Scientologist. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know what he's doing out there. Unless he has kids that are there. That's the only thing I could think of. And even then, why aren't they at CC? I don't I don't quite get that. Okay, now let me check. The fire department has no choice but to show up for a call. That I understand. Scientology calls them all the time for pretend fires, jumpers, and bombs. Yeah, that I know. And I know they have no choice but to show up. But like the other night, I did say to the lady on 911, we don't need three fire departments. We don't need two, I mean, fire engines. We don't need two. We don't even need one. I need one or two policemen to go check on this and see if there really is someone who needs help. And in which case, then you can call backup. And I said, don't you think it, because she was a little fishy at first, because I'm in Burbank there in Hollywood. I said, don't you think if you were walking down the street and you saw a help sign, don't you think you should call the police? And she said, yeah. So I said, so that's all I'm doing. And they sent two policemen, you know, not four, they sent two. You know, so, so I think, I mean, obviously Scientology is probably trying to create these SWAT things to scare, I mean, it's sort of stupid when you think about it because 
like I've heard Jessica, okay, here comes the, the helicopters. You know, it just makes more drama, dra drama and they're content, cre content creators. That's the name of, you know, the guys that do the live streaming are content creators. So that's a lot of content when you've got a you know, fire department and helicopters and police and everything. So go ahead, Scientology, keep calling them. I'm going to leave my, you know, you're wasting our tax dollars. You keep calling them. Yeah, go, go right ahead because you're giving these guys a lot of content and it keeps more people go, oh, wow, that's interesting. There you go. They never learn, do they? All right, now I got to zoom along. Maybe Tom was teaching one of the, one of the seminars. Mm, I don't think so. I don't know. I, I, I don't even know why I'm saying I don't think so. I think Tom Valdez was there for the modeling of that. Ah, now that could have been it. That could be it. That could be it. Okay, the escort for the side door and the back entrance happened after you left. Okay. But they had guys that were there. They had, you know, Streets was there, and I think Zach was there, and they had people at each of the entrances, so it doesn't quite add up that they got out there, because I know those guys, I saw them in my car. I went by and talked to them, you know, a few times. Lisa's day off, after... You left the cops, came back, and played security for the Scientologists. Yeah. Well, the, okay, this is another thing. Before this guy, Tom, pushed her and went in the Burbank mission, yeah, the second set of cops came back to let all the C of S get their cars safely. First cops were great to Jess. Later ones, not so much. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the first ones are, yeah, Scientology already got to the second ones and probably went, wah, 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 wah. It's a, <laughs> no, no, no. I No, for years, I've been in Scientology since 1969. For years, I started the Scientology Parishioners League, okay? Because Scientology needed to be looked at as a religion, okay? They're not. That most people know them as a cult. But even, even as a church, you know, this parishioner shit and, and our are scriptures. They don't have scriptures. They have policy and tech and they have members and they have orgs for years, for as long as L. Ron Hubbard was alive. That's what they were. After he died, the scavenge decided we've got to really look like a real religion. So that's where all this stuff comes in. But they are not a real religion. They are a business. They are a mind control, soul sucking, fraudulent, business hiding behind the curtain of religion. And I can tell you about, because you have to pay for every single thing. And, and it isn't like, well, it's not, you know, Christian Catholics have to donate. Okay. They can donate. They don't have to donate. This is a purchase. You have to purchase every single level all the way up to the top. And it gets more and more expensive the higher you go. And now Miscavige put in the IAS where you have to pay to say you're a Scientologist. You can't even say you're a Scientologist until you're an IAS member. And then they start hitting you up for that. And that's just flat out donations. So no, I'm the wrong person to say it's a church. Of course, they are parishioners. No, they're not. They're not parishioners. They don't believe in anything. I remember when Tommy Davis said, our faith, you know, with the BBC. And I said, your faith? I started up my webcam. I said, your faith in what? In L. Ron Hubbard and David Miscavige? What faith do you have? They don't have faith. They don't have belief. They don't have anything. They're a con. Okay, here we go. Tori, if you want to pursue your million dollars from Scientology, Aaron knows of an attorney that has been successful at getting money back 
for former Scientologists. I know that same attorney. I'm very good friends with him. But it's a little different thing than we're talking about. So, but thank you for that. Are you a former cult member? Who is this person? Tori, are you a former cult member? Is that like, because I'm calling it a cult? You're saying, I didn't think so at the time. That's why I stayed in it. If I thought it was a cult, I wouldn't have stayed. We used to go to a cult called the Live Polarity. And it was out in Marietta Hot Springs. And we did not, we could see they were a cult, but we could not see we were a cult. Couldn't see it. So no, I wasn't. But I now I recognize that I'm an ex-Scientologist. That's what I say. And I am speaking out exposing the abuses of the quote unquote church of Scientology, which it isn't a church. And I always tell people it's nothing like any church you've ever seen. What's new in Florida? Where do they, where they own the whole city? Ask Aaron. He lives there. Ask Mark Bunker. They live there. Wrong place to ask. Question. Have you or are you going to fill out and file the IRS form 13909 filing a complaint against a religious organization? I'm not going to tell you. It's a private private thing, but thank you for letting people know that, that that's a thing they can fill out. As mentioned, the one thing that the C of S will try to target and recruit are the younger citizens. That's right. That's why I, that's why I carry my cards and I recommend you guys do too. Get them made up any way you want with Xenu on them. Always have Xenu because they hate having that word out there and websites, and then you just hand them. I give them out to young people all the time. I go, the Church of Scientology is after you. Here's my card. And if you weren't in it, you can say, look, I know a lady that was in it for 30 years. And when she finally woke up, she they chased her across the country and she barely got out of the Tampa airport. Use me. I don't mind. I mean, it's like you don't have to have been in it to tell people about it. You guys know enough. And if you don't, Look up Xenu.net and start learning because there's a lot of information there. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that, Hans. No need to shout. Yes, she's an ex-Scientologist. The city is Clearwater, Florida. Thank you. I love it when people stand up for me. I really do because that was sort of creepy. I, I don't know what what that was about, but it came and it left. But thank you very much, Hans Christian Schwartz. Oh, anything other than the truth is retardation. Okay, anything other than the truth is retardation. Okay, all right. Um, all right, so I'm going to click on this new comments because we got to get going. All right, so here we are at the bottom. Hit the like buttons, please. Thank you, Robert. Um, I sent an email. Okay, I will look for it. Did you put the YT in it? And thank you for the timestamp thing. Okay, all right, great. Thank you. Thank you, Sharona. Um, hi from New Zealand, leaving you now to watch from the start. Oh, New Zealand, another place I want to go. Thank you. Charging for enlightenment is insanity. Yeah, it is. It is. Freedom is free. It should be. It isn't in Scientology. Not at all. It's very expensive. And that doesn't make sense in, in either. Okay, so I think this is your last thing you're going to say. Scientology knows that the police and fire department could investigate but won't investigate the source of the calls. Well, part of that is Scientology pays them a lot of money. And that's that's how they get out of a lot of stuff. Beautiful Burbank, not Tom Burbank. It actually is, believe it or not. It's it's it really is pretty now. I mean it was, now they're really trying to crank it up. Don't get me started on it. They're definitely changing it. Um, 
This is a question. Okay, and then we're going to go. Back in the 70s, did Scientologists open touch assist buildings? No, they've never had touch assist buildings. Because my mom went to one in uh, Mankata, Minnesota. I doubt if it was a touch assist building. It was probably a mission, and they did touch assist there as well as other stuff. I have never, ever heard of a touch assist building, so I don't think so. And here you go. Go team. Ah, that's great. Thank you. And thank you. Thank all of you. I really appreciate you guys coming here and being so kind. And Sharona, thank you for sending me that stuff. That's great. And this other person is saying Sharona. Okay. We're yeah, what I, I was in Haight Ashbury when George Harrison visited. Yep. I was there. I was there at the right time, at the right place. That's that's one of those places. Well, anyway, I think that's it. Don't worry about the safety of everyone. To maybe donations should go to paying for security. No, no, paying. What I need more than anything is if anybody can, you know, donate anything. I need to get, you know, a tripod stand and you know like technical things i need a battery thing so i can be out more and my thing my phone won't you know that kind of stuff like technical stuff but i don't need to pay for security no no we're good we're good as a, we're a good team we really are but thank you for thinking of me i appreciate it um okay so yeah she did this is she said poor that's Jessica's mom today. Must have got a fright seeing her daughter. No, she saw her get handcuffed out in Beverly Hills. I talked to her the next day. She saw her get handcuffed with the hill with the helicopter coming in. They handcuffed Jessica. Everything went out, so we couldn't see anything. We didn't know what was happening to her. I mean, that was scary. This isn't that scary. No, Jessica was fine. I talked to her. She was like, oh, yeah, it's fine. I said, why didn't you call me? She goes, I'm fine. You know, I, you know, it's no problem. <laughs> and her, I'm sure her mom is, you know, she's fine on this. This is, this is, this is just another swatting thing. It's not a big deal. You are welcome. And thank you, Fluffer Squirrel UK. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I feel, I always feel bad for the people that are trapped, but that's why I keep speaking out because A, I don't want more people to join and B, you never know who is connected to someone in there that if you help educate them, they might go, you know, have you ever thought about that? You know, whereas that person might be able to, do you see what I mean? So it's education is the key to the thing. It really is. Anyway, wonder why the LA Times, oh, please, you know, the, I know it, it's sort of like, I, I'm sorry to act that way, but it's like for years things have happened in Scientology where we're like, well, the media is going to want to interview us or talk about this or inter go talk to that person or whatever. No, they don't because they, they're afraid of them too. They don't want to get in trouble. They don't, they don't want them to sue their, you know, their magazine or their newspaper or whatever. So that's why Anonymous was so great, because when it was so many people, they had to do something. They just had to. It was like 9,000 people around the world in every major city. So they did. But it was a short-lived thing. Okay, this is someone who was born and raised there. All right. Arlene. Small world. Okay. Be safe, everyone. Thank you, J.R. Boston, us. Okay, now all I want to <laughs> okay, all I want to ask a question since I'm deaf. I want to know how does inside Scientology treat dis disabled people and the deaf? Like, what are they gonna? What are they doing with them or something that would likely know about it? Okay, first of all, we're speaking. This is a speaking thing. I have deaf friends, so I know that deaf people aren't going to come to a speaking thread 
where you know that I can't answer that. So you're probably Osa, because that's Yada used to do that all the time. He was always deaf. Always had one person that was deaf. So hi, Bill. Just so you know, you're really fucked up tonight. Really. You guys really screwed up. And if for some reason you are deaf, I mean, the, the question about the disability is actually a very good question. And they are awful about disability. But I'll make another video about it because it really should be discussed. And it should be pointed out because I don't, I don't really know now, though. It's been 24 years since I've been out. So I can only tell from in the 90s how they were. But it's a long time from the 90s, so I don't really know. You'll have to go to a deaf uh, thread and ask them. And I doubt if you are. Yachty used to always say, you know, he'd always pretend he was deaf with, with one of his 10 identities. So I doubt if you're really a person that's here because, you know, I can't, add, you know, I can't type because I'm talking. And if you can read lips, I can just tell you, don't get in Scientology. Don't get in Scientology. Do not get in Scientology. They don't like people in general. They don't help people in general. And they definitely don't like people with any disabilities at all. L. Ron Hubbard thought they were the bottom of the barrel. And I'm one of them. So I speak from experience. I know how it feels. I did it for 30 years. Don't waste your life. There you go. That's how I feel. Thank you. Uh, if she replies with my question, would someone comment, reply that she said, since I'm deaf? I'm not really quite sure. I guess someone else, one of you could just type and say that I, that I said to them, to the deaf person, don't get in Scientology. They're awful with dis disabled people. And they're not set up for deaf. I bet you'd have luck with Amazon wish list for all your streaming accessories. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know how to set that up, but my friend is coming. Actually, Love It is going to be here pretty soon, and then she can help me. But thank you for reminding me, Queen, for me, 144. All right, the cult doesn't accept those who have disabilities from my understanding. Yeah, pretty much they don't. They really don't. I mean, it's they look down on them. And I know from experience. What's your opinion on cheese pizza lovers like me? <laughs> Go have a pizza. Got you. All right. So anyway, I think we're done. I I do you think Anonymous will decide to join the squirrels at some point? I have no idea. You know, just like they came before, we weren't expecting it. It was a surprise. Tori said that they are awful about disabilities. Thank you. Thank you for writing that, Drifter. And, and to not also and say, do not get into Scientology. That's my recommendation. You know, it's, it's not just that they're awful. It's that it, it's awful beyond awful. They're awful to people with disabilities and don't get into Scientology at all. That's what I'm saying. Tori, deaf people watch SPTV. They use the function that creates subtitles or lip read. Okay. All right. I stand corrected. Well, good. Then uh, you guys helped out on that. And thank you for that. But make sure that I'm saying don't join Scientology. It's, it's, it's hard enough to have a disability. It's triple hard when you're amongst everyone who thinks you are the bottom of the barrel just because of your disability. I mean, it's pathetic, but that's the way it is. Anyway, I love you that you have the energy to go through all these chats. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to answer everything. I, I appreciate that. I always think, you know, probably everybody's like, why don't you move along? And I probably should, but and I think I'm going to miss something. <laughs> A deaf thread, really. <laughs> well, I'm just saying they must have some kind of, I have friends that are deaf and they, you know, they, they do sign language and stuff like that. So there must be some thread, a deaf thread that uses sign language, right? You know, and so she could go there. 
and but I don't think there's a thread, unfortunately, about Scientology. But that's why I'm saying just forget it. Because it's like, I'm not going to try to tell her anything about it because it's not worth the time. Don't waste her life. It's been 24 years since Tori's been out and she isn't sure how they treat disabled now, but we'll do a video on it. That isn't what I said. Oh, I see you're saying that to her. No, no, wait. No, I didn't say I'm not sure how they treat disabled. Oh, I see now. Okay. But she'll do, okay, I get what you're saying. Because because they, I definitely know how they treat disabled per their tech, per the policy. You know, I do, I do, because it's per policy. So I know that they, a lot of it is still horrible because in their new books, they still have them as one, one, which is the bottom of the barrel. So I do know it, but thank you for saying that. How many death thread Scientology ones are there? I don't know. I don't know. I doubt if there's any. This is the question. I doubt if there's any. And this person's saying, that was kind of rude. Okay. I think it's time for everybody to go to bed. Aaron has discussed his deaf viewers on his channel. Okay, good. So... And I guess there are deaf viewers, and I didn't know that. And I don't know how to do it. So go over to Aaron's site. Aaron Smith Levin. There you go. He'll, he'll discuss it with you. Ah, Here you go. This is good. In a nutshell, they treat them disgustingly because they believe disabilities are the cause by something bad you did in a previous life. Whatever. Okay, now this person says, I'm mostly deaf. We can read. He was asking how Scientology treats deaf people. I understand that, but, and I understand that, of course, you can read, but I can't type. See, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm speaking. So if they can read lips, they should let me know ahead of time I'm deaf, but I can read lips. And then we're good. And then I'm fine. If they go, I'm deaf. How am I going to talk to them? They can't hear me, right? So how is that going to work? And I, apparently Aaron knows how to do that. So I would say go over to Aaron's site, you know, and and it isn't as great as mine, but no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I hope, I hope you're fine. I mean, it's sort of like I don't want the person to get more involved with what is Scientology. It's like, don't do it. That's that's all you need to know. It's like, don't waste your life. Don't waste your time. Don't do it. So getting into a death thread, you know, it's like for what? You know, so that you can get into it and get all snarled up. I don't think so. I'm mostly deaf. We can read. Okay, so you already said that. Just answer the question and we will tell him. What's the question? Okay. I don't know what the, I don't, I don't know which is the question that you're going to tell the person. You already said it that I think it's disgusting. I don't see any other question. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to go cuz I got to get to bed. And this is this is not helping anybody. Do you know about the super chat donation option? I don't, but um, she's going to come teach me about it. I hope. And because DOA tried to get it set up and we couldn't. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening with it, but hopefully soon. I think you're correct. Okay. I think. Oh, capturing is not available during a live, but YouTube will make captions available sometime after the live finishes. Oh, that'd be good. Okay, I'll see. I'll try the little three dots and see if they have a thing for, because um, you probably have to set it up. That'd be good, though. I'm going to do a specific one on disability. 
and I'll see if I can set up those, whatever you call it, you know, where they type it out. Okay, good. All right, sweet dreams. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, who is this? Wait. Tori was discussing how to make her, her videos easier for disabled. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to make one and see if we can. Oh yeah. The captions. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, good. So I have to find out how to set up the captions. Okay, Jaron. Okay, good. Oh, I can type here. Wait a second. I just remembered I can. I will Thank you all for your help. Wait, that didn't work. There. Ooh, okay. So thank you to everybody. I really appreciate it. And good night. And thank you so much and have a wonderful day tomorrow for all the guys that are seeing it and you're starting your day. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Did you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being so kind. And you're very welcome, Jaron. A sub to you. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, great. All right. Okay, I don't know how to do all the the little things, see? I don't know how to put up all those little things. I don't have them on my thing. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to go. I love you guys. Sleep tight or have a wonderful day tomorrow. And have a wonderful day tomorrow either way. All right. I'm going to end the stream. Goodbye. Good night.